hello again. I can't hear myself, I'm so- oh my word. <laughs> Sorry. Teacup's quite loud in my ears at the moment, let me take my headset off for a sec. Oh, hello again. I needed to de-stress. FNAF 2 really got to me. And actually, funnily enough, generally speaking, this week has been quite hectic. Um... Well, I say week. The past seven days, the week started, like, yesterday, so... Um... A friend and I are planning on renting out a flat, and we're getting all the paperwork done, and it's been quite a lot on me. I didn't realise how stressed I was until I sat down and tried to play a stressful game, and... I broke for a little bit there. So, um, I do hope you'll be joining me in, um, playing something a bit more chill. Uh, the, uh, not only the stream title, but the music might be a giveaway that is currently playing in the background. Um, hopefully this time I won't mess up the music, um, <laughs> on my end. Uh, on your end, sorry. And we'll hopefully have a good time. This game is so goddamn cute. And I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to move my microphone, so I'll mute myself for a sec. Good thing I did, because I almost dropped it. <laughs> okay. Uh, switching windows. Give us a minute. I'm just gonna turn the phone. <laughs> it's very loud on my end, so I'm just gonna have to... Uh, turn the music a bit down. That's fine. Alright. Excellent. Lovely. Get my headphones on. How's the audio looking, lads? Oh dear. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, there we go. Hello, hello. Right! Oh, oh dear. Oh heck, oh heck, I know what I've done. Quit to menu. I'm gonna have to press new game. I forgot, because I'd actually finished the game. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. I know what I'm doing, big brain. Oh. Starting a new game will overwrite your current save file, are you sure? Yep, that's fine. Uh, yes. <laughs> Meet Teacup, a frog who loves tea. And is also wearing adorable clothes. Look at that, that's so cute! Oh, me too. <laughs> I would go full blanky mode if I could, but unfortunately, I cannot in my current flat. Oh no! Oh, I can't relate, but I will eventually when I run out of tea leaves. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, we've got one day! One day till the tea party! Oh. Thus began Teacup's journey for tea. This game is too cute. <laughs> Alright, oh yes. Oh gosh, it's Ari Keys. Okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't have moved my microphone then because it's in the way of my arm. Right. Uh... Ah, wait, no, I see, I see. Right, I got it, I got it, I got it. Shift we. Alright. I see. This tea encyclopedia will be useful. Use this button to open or close the encyclopedia. While it's open, you can browse by pressing in the left or right direction. Oh look, there's something under the book. So sorry. <laughs> Hi Teacup, I'm glad to confirm that all of us will be able to make it to the tea party. I almost forgot to write back since we've been busy with Evangeline pra- Ooh. <laughs> I almost forgot to write back since we've been crazy busy with Evangeline- Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I almost forgot to write back since we've been busy with Evangeline practicing like crazy for our performance at the Kite Festival. We're pretty nervous, but I think it's going to be great. The boys were very excited too, but I hope none of them have forgotten it's this Saturday. It's been so long since we've last been together. Aw, take care of yourself. See you soon, Adele. Aww. Oops, should have opened this letter earlier. 
good thing that everyone's coming. I like the little frog plushie up there, that's cute. I love this art, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Look at how pretty the art is. A present from your grandmother. Oh, it's cute. I love, I love this game, it's so cute. Look at this artwork, look at how pretty! I love this cottage. Oh my god, look, look! Very colourful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is true. Oh my god! Ah, this game is so cute! Oh, I can't deal. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to turn the volume down on my end a bit. There we go. Oh, it's so- oh my god. Oh my god, the artwork. Oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. Look at how cute it is! Oh, oh. why hello, Teacup. Haven't seen you out here for quite a while. May I help you with something? I see, a quest for tea. An adventure. When I was a young lad, I used to go on adventures too. Oh, the memories. Well, today is your lucky day, Teacup. What a coincidence, I was just about to throw away this map. Ooh, thank you. It used to be complete, but some spots have faded with time. You'll have to fill the rest yourself. Mm. It was a gift, back from when I arrived in this town by mistake. I'll tell you about it some other day. <laughs> I won't keep you any longer. Looks like you have a busy day ahead of you. I love the owl. Hello, thank you. Thank you, sir. I will use it very well. You can go up into his house, but I will do that later. Let's take a look. Right, so we got the West Forest, the Market, and the Pond. I'm gonna go to the Market first. Oh my gosh, oh my god. Look at this! I find baskets to be quite comforting. Good for you. How exciting! The anniversary celebration will soon start. Ooh. Fresh potatoes. Love a good patat. Hello, little frog. Teacup. Well, hello, teacup. I don't have any of those teas you speak about, but I do have the best veggies in town. Wren, that good-for-nothing badger's veggies have nothing on mine. I'm giving this guy more of a gremlin voice the more he talks. You fool! You went to the wrong veggie shop. Mine are the best. Petit Piro, I love that. That's fruit. It's sweet. I warn you, you might become addicted. Fucking love fruit. Oh, it's that's fruit. Haha. <laughs> right, hang on. Let's try that again. Now, my secret recipe is three quarters sugar for one quarter fruit. But no one can know my ultra secret recipe. It's the same, isn't it? I love jam. Maybe these jams would taste good with toast and tea? Oh, yes. I'm sure they would. Hello! Buy some mushrooms! I'm 100% positive they're not poisonous. What were those? Let's say between 80 and 100, I am 95% sure they're not. <laughs> Maybe 90%. Fair enough. You seem harmless enough. Be careful, that could be destroying Angel. <laughs> you could die. Oh, dear me. Yeah, I wouldn't trust them to up. <laughs> oh, I'm pressing west, whoopsie. There's a lot of people from neighbouring towns. <gasps> oh my god, Badger! Badger Grandma, hello. Ren is hard at work. That's Ren. I should have brought some water. I, uh, old lady voice, meh. Teacup, is that you? Unbelievable, darling, I thought I was seeing a mirage. Uh -huh. Come again? Tea! Tea, tea, always about tea. I know, dear, but you need fruits and veggies too. What can I help you with? You ran out of tea? <gasps> Impossible. Oh, that's a lovely book. You want me to look at it? Mm -hmm. I don't know these herbs except this one, mint. 
I can tell you where to find it, but first I need a little help. It's just so hot outside today, I can't even move, but I need to organize my stand. Would you do that for poor old me, dear? I'll get some water in the meantime, I'm just parched. Let's do it. Teacup, is that you? Help Ren order her stool. Drag the pieces inside the stool and fit them all. Select pieces and rotate them. You can rotate them, I see. Sweet, okay. I see, I see, I see. Hmm. Maybe, and then... Oh, I don't know if that'll work. Nah, bum, it won't. Okay, let's try rotating this piece like that. This. Uh, not that. Do this. Do th oh. this, there we go. Nope, that won't work either, will it? Uh, shoot. Uh, that. Nope. Um, this. And this. Nope. Ah, okay. Alright, let's try... Put that in the corner. Pairs are upside down. Sorry. I don't... Nah, that won't work, will it? Okay, hang on. Not to worry. We'll find the solution eventually. Nope. It's so, alright, I'll have a look in a minute for hints if I am truly stuck. I'm stubborn. Oh, hang on, no. There we go. No. Uh. Hmm. Like that, perhaps. Hang on. Oh no, wait, hang on. Shh, hang on. No, oh, oh dear me. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I can feel it on my spine. Um maybe. But it doesn't. Ugh. Okay, how about. Oh, hang on. There. Okay, oh, no, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. Ah, uh, no, it won't work, will it? Oh, well. What if I. Did. Oh. That. No, actually, what if this? Hmm. That there. That there. No. I just I'll brute force it, <laughs> and it will not be particularly pleasing to watch. And I'm sorry, but I'll go and then we'll have a hint. Oh, I was going about it the complete wrong way, apparently. Wait, hang on. I may have... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, that explains it. Okay, fair enough. We did it, woo! Oh my gosh. Thank god I noticed that in time. I have so It's just a little bit off. Oh no, that's the overlay I'm clicking on. Game capture. 
Oh, it's a lot of... I'm so sorry. Thank you for... Thank God there are two people watching. <laughs> oh no. I'm in danger. There we go. Now we're good. Oh no. I'm sorry about that, by the way. There we go. Nope, that's the overlay again. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. That was close. Whew. Thank you, Cheekup. My stand has never looked this good before. Yeah, now that you say so, the boxes are kind of oddly shaped. I, I saw Salamandra the other day with some of that herb you need. Go ask him, it should be by the pond. Will do. Hello, cat. I promised Malcolm I'd buy from him, but Ren's gossip is just better. Fair enough. Oh, gods! Yes, the pumpkins. Hello, do you like pumpkins? I do, Pompey Hall. They're the best fruit to ever exist. They are, you can carve faces in them, it's good. Very good. What a cute stand. What a lovely day to buy some flowers. Or plant some flowers, or look at some flowers. Fair enough. This path leads to the plaza. Or maybe not, the map is faded. Okay. I see what we have to do. I'm gonna have to quickly zoom over to the pond and have a look-see. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Look at those big old lily pads. The path ends here and this part of the map is faded out. Okay, I won't go that way then. I'll go uh, this way. Oh my gosh, look at how- look at it! Ah! Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I'm dead. I'm- oh my god. Okay, I'll talk to you in a minute, mate. I can tell you're the quest guy. Who designed this? Looks pretty wobbly. It does, doesn't it? It's really creaky. This fuck- oh my god. Yes, the, the vibes! Honey, sometimes the only option is to be fabulous. You are fabulous. Be fabulous. Okay. Oh, Whoa. hello there, little froggy. <laughs> you lost? <laughs> this is very French. Um, Salamandro. Uh, is your crony sent you? What are you looking for? That's going German. <laughs> I did French for Yellow Boy, I should be able to do a French accent. Uh, an accent français. Hmm. I do have some of that mint in my garden. I'll give you some if you beat me in a race in the lake. No, I'm not even gonna try. I must warn you, I'm the strongest, fastest swimmer around. I'm getting so German with it. All right, right down, right down, 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 left, down, 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 left, right, right, left, upright, right, up, left, left, up, 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 left, 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 down, left, up, left, up, 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 left, up, 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 right, up, oh, bunny, up, left, left, up, Left, down, down, right. Down, right, up, up. Left, right, left, down. Left, down, left, down. Oh, we're making progress. Uh, right, left, up, down. Right, left, left, down. Left, up, oh, heh. <laughs> yep, left, up, up, right. Woo! Woo, we did it. Well done, little froggy. I have to admit I was a bit tired because I was swimming all afternoon. But a victory is a victory. Une victoire est une victoire. I don't even remember if victoire is feminine. J'ai oublié uh, si victoire est féminin ou masculin. Je sais pas. Ugh, yeah. You have quite some talent. Have you, <laughs> have you considered swimming professionally? 
You could. Oh, you'd rather stay at home. I see. Visit me sometime and I'll give you some mint. I live in the middle to the north of this pond. Will do, buddy. Be careful, honey. The water here is deep. It is? It's very beautiful, though. Oh, we were just swimming and it was very deep, yes. <laughs> Completely slipped my mind. This game, man. I love this game. It's so pretty. Oh, now we can go to the market. Okay. Let's... Oh, wait, no. We could already go to the market. <laughs> I mistook it for something else. Ignore me. Meadow. Let's go to the meadow. This is Salamandro's place, I assume. And I love it already. Hello. Look at the roses. Oh, it fits his vibe. I love it. Here you are. I couldn't let you beat me again, so I ran as fast as I could back home. You can come to me whenever you want minting carbs, so I don't use it much. Uh, losing it. Drink it? I had no idea you would use it for that. Mm. I'll have to try it someday. Mint. Mint is good. I love mint. Mint, Menthus picata, is an aromatic herb. Perfect for hot or cold drinks, it can be accompanied with lemon, honey, or lemon balm. Mint tea helps with stomach bloating, body aches, and is antispasmodic, reduces the chances of vomiting. It's especially recommended for colds or congestion in the throat and nose. This herb is also great for reducing tension or anxiety in the body because it has a relaxing effect. There are also different types of mint with similar properties, but different flavour and aroma. Menthus piccata is the most common, but another popular variety is peppermint, mentha piperita, which is a hybrid between piccata and mentha hirsuta. Mint has an intense aroma. The flower is very pretty and can be white or lilac. It seems to spread easily through the gardens of Little Pond, especially those near the pond. Is that a map I see? And quite an old one! And if I take a peek, cartography is one of my multiple talents, you know. Is it now? Let's see... <laughs> ah, it's so faded that it's barely of any use at all. Allow me to fill in some of the missing parts. Hmm. There we go! Now you should have no problems exploring the rest of Little Pond. Is I speaking a little froggy? Okay. Petit crummy. I suppose because Teacup is female, would it be petite? I don't know if uh, Romy is masculine or feminine. What a mysterious looking tent. Seems no one is home though. Ah. But uh, they've got laundry out though. <laughs> They're giving it a good dry out, I assume. Oh my god, I just noticed it's. I don't know if that's meant to be like a branchy thing, or like a tree texture, or if that's meant to be the string they've tied around it to hold up their tent, but that's neat. That's really neat. Oh, the mandolins. Oh, it's just a texture thing, fair enough. It's still pretty, though. That doesn't look like everywhere, but I suppose... Uh, you see up the top right there, there's a little bit missing. Maybe it's just that we haven't gotten there yet. It might unlock later, I don't know. I say as though I haven't played- oh my god, this is my favourite piece of music from the entire soundtrack. Okay, sorry, I <laughs> had a moment there. Hi. Hello there, Teacup. This is the first time we meet, but the cosmos told me you would come out today. Would you like to have your fortune read? It might help you on your journey for tea. Yes, then let me begin. The noises that she makes. The moon. You've been preoccupied and felt anxious about the future. God, yeah. <laughs> you have a lot of potential. You need your family and friends to feel truly happy. But they do not always understand your distress, and you've been afraid to bother them with your problems. I feel like we can all relate to that. I do kind of want a tarot deck in this style, though. It's so pretty. I love my Rider Waite one, but... You are currently struggling with your independence. Fortunately, this situation should not last, since a new dynamic is moving into your life. It should help you regain the confidence you had be Ooh. <laughs> sorry. It should help you regain the confidence you had before, and the natural op optimism that represents you so well. The sun. Oh wow, look at how pretty those two cards are! Oh, they're matching! That's so cute! Oh my god. The cards show a sudden change coming. 
it will be both abrupt and happy. There is no doubt its impact will be largest on the emotional level. It could spell the end of a situation that does not satisfy you to start a new cycle in which you will feel better. Aw, thank you. Many good things await you. You've heard the cards, you just have to continue ahead on your journey. Tea? Oh sure. My sixth sense tells me it's underground. It's underground? Right. It's pink. I see a lot of pink. There is nothing more I can tell you, but this information shall surely be enough. Hmm. Alright. I'll bear that in mind. Pink and underground. Hello, I have the latest news. Wait, no, I can't tell you. You have to buy the newspaper and read it. Why? Well, just how it works. Well, if news isn't your thing, I also have these latest edition of Weekly Cloud Guide. Oh, the latest edition of Weekly Cloud Guide. It's a favourite among a professional and hobby cloud which is alike, you know. Ah. So the problem is that you don't have cash on you. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Sorry, mate. T ridiculous. Oh, T ridiculous. I worry about real life problems like. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Adora told me it was a lucky day for me, but I just tripped. I'm probably getting luckier now. Probably. What do you want? I just wanted to say hi. You look cool. Hello, sir. You are a raccoon. Hey, what do you want? Cookies, huh? The only problem is that I'm about to go for lunch. You're friends with Lyndon? He mentioned something about a picnic in the pond before leaving for his break. Cookies are his specialty, so you should better go and ask him. He did have some errands to run, though, so he might still be doing that. Fair dues, fair dues. I'll take a look. Oh my god, look at that child. They're so cute! They're so small! Hello. I could buy some sweets later. You could, child. You do what you want. Oh, little baby. Little baby kitten. Tiny baby man. Oh, pigeon. Oh, okay. Name, Farrell Farrell. Address? I forgot. I hope it's alright. What a mess. Hundreds of letters. Oh dear. Name, Ren Badger. Address, North Little Pond, House 4. Now we know. Name, Otto Owl. Address, West Forest Treehouse. More letters still. Good- Oh, <laughs> good day, welcome to the post office. I'm Vincent, the postmaster, assistant postman, and also the postman apprentice. I'm busy counting the amount of to-dos I have on my to-do list, and that might take a while. Come back later if you need anything. Okay, sir, I will. I love this game. This is so nice. Balloons. I wonder where my old car is right now. Did it fly away? My balloon cart once flew- oh. <laughs> How I got it back, you ask? I didn't. Fair. <laughs> oh dear. Hi, sir. Hmm. You're kindly invited to the theatre play we will be presenting this afternoon at this very spot. Okay. Hello, sir. Jacob! You're... out. Are you okay? Oh, that's good. What brings you to the plaza? I bet it's because of the festival. <laughs> yeah, it's the town anniversary. You didn't know? Oof, with all these preparations, I almost forgot about the tea party. Uh -huh. That explains why you're out and about. I'll be there tomorrow for sure. Ooh. So this is what you're looking for. Sorry, tea, I don't really know where to get any of the tea herbs you need. Mm. Maybe Vincent could help you? He likes to drink tea every once in a while. If you walk a bit further, you should find him working at the postal office. Ooh. And if you're going to the post, if you don't mind, could you please mail my monthly manga order for me? <laughs> awesome. Thanks, T. Ignore the way I said manga. Yep. 
But yes, I will do your your weeby duty, my dear. Little boy, kiddo. I'm not one to judge. I read many a manga in my time. Mostly Death Note. Welcome to the post office. How may I help you? I see Mr. Bertol's monthly manga order. I'll add it to my to-do list. Yes, the office is a mess. Don't judge me, the mayor absolutely insi- Blah. Don't judge me, the mayor absolutely insisted on making this limited edition stamp collection. I've spent the whole week working on it and I'll barely finish on time. He wanted some memorabilia to immortalize this year's edition of the town anniversary. <laughs> ah, you notice the honey aroma in the air? It's my tea. Can't tell you where I got it. It's a secret, you see. You know what? Let me show you the stamps. Let's see if you can organize them and form the image. If you do that, I'll tell you where to get honey. Ooh, honey. Postal challenge. Oh my god, the music. Oh my god, the music. Alright then. Oh. You need to reorganize them to form the picture. It's pretty hard. I'll bet ya. That's such a cute tram. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. I love the little tram. It was easy. Hmm. How about you try forming the picture by only swapping adjacent stamps? Let's do that then, shall we? Boop. 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 It's like a sliding puzzle almost. There we go. Wow. If you manage this last one, I'll tell you the secret behind how I got this honey. Just a bit less frustrating. That's why I like this game so much. It's so relaxed. I love the mayor's face. You, I know he's a fruit bat. That's just such a funny grin. One could say he's a bit... Batty. I'll leave. <laughs> so I've got to kind of swap his face around. It's going to look a bit disjointed for a sec. There we go. Aww. Wow, you made it, huh? As a prize, I'll tell you my secret. You know Otto. He's keeping bees. They always provide him with honey. He's a kind soul, so I don't think he'd mind giving you a bit. Cool. Thank you, sir. I will do that. I love your plant. Hello. Second assistant. Doesn't talk much. Fair. There we go. I've got the manga order in. I've uh, got that. Let's just have a wander around, eh? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> so I take it the game's semi-linear, but doesn't really have too much linearity. Like, there's some stuff that you have to do to unlock other areas, but you can do it at your own time and your own pace, essentially. I love the rugs. Fancy designs. I'm so sorry, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> Um, sorry, I can't help you right now. I'm having some trouble. Don't you see it? The carpets have come up. Oh god, they have! I knew there had to be some kind of trick. These last ones are really cheap. You looking for tea? Yeah, I have some jasmine, but right now isn't the best time. I know the magicians! I need your help, frog. I'll give you the jasmine, but first you need to get the magicians and ask them for something to put these rugs down. You can find them in the tents in the meadows. I cut myself, but then these carpets would escape. I'm counting on you. I had to say that very quick because he looked very stressed and the text was going very fast. <laughs> I love this, it's so cute. Clothes for the celebrations. That's cute shoes. I really want to get a nice pair of brogues actually. I put it off because I do have a um, pair of brogue-esque shoes down there at the moment that I got from Doc Martens, but yeah, anyway, sorry, <laughs> distracted. All these names are weird. What do they taste like? Nostalgia Blue. That flavor has me recalling things I've never even lived. 
Went kite flying. Sorry for the inconvenience. That's okay, so... Hi, I take it you're the mayor. Felicio, good name. I'm just making sure everything turns out just perfect. My reputation depends on it, and my reputation is perfect. You are very eccentric. I'm here for it. That's good. Wow, lots of activity here today. Seems to be. Oh! Right, okay, that makes sense. Market would be connected to the plaza, that does make sense, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, we've got the villa, east forest, we can go back to the meadow for the magic people, because I'm guessing they live in that tent. It's been a little while, my memory's a bit foggy. But judging by the very, you know, splendiferous this, I'm guessing magicians live here. Seems as if there's no one inside. But Pancrati told you to look for the magicians here. You call out and hear a voice beckoning you to enter. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. Look at this, look how pretty! Look at the wizard tent! Wizards! Lizard, wizard! Oh. Alright, I'm chill. Oh look, Yakovo, a frog! Correct, Vichano, like you. Salutations, little amphibian. Interested in the mysteries of existence, the other world, that which is beyond the reach of Deance? Deance. Oh. That's science, Vichano. Yeah, yeah, she understood. She said yes. Welcome, then. We have a mission for you. What mission? Oh, right, the mission! A magnificent mission! You must find the cauldron of life. It looks like a teapot, but it's not. It also works like a teapot, but it's not. That's right. The cauldron lies in the darkest nooks and crannies of our fent. Tent. <laughs> Slander. Yakovo, I remember the shopkeeper was clearly saying fent. That was his accent. Nobody in that garage sale spoke our language. Uh, right. You cunning enough for this task, little amphibian? Well, if you're willing to find the cauldron. Oh, they're right there, a crocodile, probably, or an alligator. Yakovo, I mean, not a lizard. Here's a list of some other stuff I need that I can't find. It's Yano. Oh, she already said yes. So, we'll be waiting here. What a magic mess. Viciano and Yakovu ask for your help to find all the objects they can't find in the mess of their tent. Ooh. Find all the items dis Ooh, find all the hidden items displayed on the scroll and select them with the cursor. Okay. Will do. Let's take a look. Eight ball, boat, um candle holder, uh, clock, glasses, key, letter, necklace, peach, peach? I think that's a peach. Umbrella. Oh. Aha. And the teapot. That's not the right teapot, it's a different one. Um, so yeah. Big thing with hidden object games, don't go deliberately looking for anything, just kind of scan your eyes around and see if they catch anything. That's what I find always helps. I've already- oh my god, I've already eliminated four without even thinking. There's another. It's good to not search too hard for details until you're, you know, starting to lose them. If that makes sense- oh! Just have a look. Just have a look, because otherwise if you keep sc continuously scanning yeah, for one object in particular, you'll end up missing all the other ones that you're trying to look for. Nearly there. Um, yeah, I've just got to look for the glasses and I think the letter. Okay. But yeah, just scan round and look at the image. Don't look for anything in particular, because otherwise you won't find it. That's how it works, at least in my experience. Obviously, it'll work differently for you. One last thing. Oh, no. Ah. See, now I'm doing it because I've got one last thing left. Garlic. It's... These guys should really learn interior design so they know how to, you know, properly 
organize stuff. What the fuck they've got donuts down there? I thought those were the glasses, but those are not the glasses, it's something else. It's just an orb. I love I love the cat portraits as well. They're really cute. Uh little moon looking thing. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. Glasses. Yeah, I'm doing it now. I'm starting to not practice what I preach. That's okay, though. Once you get down to the last item, you often tend to have to start looking really carefully. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just scan your eyes across the image, don't get too lost in the details. Boom. You pick up the cauldron of life to take it to Yakovo and Vichano. I do. A strange smell emanates from the teapot. Oh no. Sorry. Oh, you feel dizzy. Oh no. Have they- Oh, whoa! What is this place? Oh my god. Look how pretty! Look how pretty! I'm sorry, I have to. <laughs> you probably heard that. I had to take a screenshot. It's so pretty! Look at this! Oh my god! That's so cool! Oh my god. Oh, look at the floating islands! Oh my god. That's so cool. I'm sorry if you can hear humming, by the way. <laughs> People are using the water downstairs. Oh my gosh. Look at the stars. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, right. Look, Yakovo, the frog is here. Unbelievable. Looks like you found the cauldron, little froggy. And it looks like you didn't wash the tea stains again, Vichano. How many times have I told you? Slander, Yakovo. Falsehood. Couldn't be farther from the truth, you sleazy lizard. Oh, they are a lizard. But, well, welcome to the dream world. Sorry for the trouble. You must be confused. It wasn't that much trouble. We know about your search, little traveller. Please accept our most sincere apologies. Yes, very sincere. This magic powder might be of use for those pesky flying carpets. Yes, and take this magic tea. It's what we make in the cauldron. Vichano? You do know that if you give her that, she'll be able to enter the dream world as she pleases? Leave me alone, Yakovu. I like this froggy. Take it. Oh, you have a book? Let me show you my amazing drawing skills. Let's see it then, baby. Oh, that's so cute. See you on the other side. Whoa. And we're back. Thank you for your help. Your magnificent contributions have brought balance to the universe. Ah, I can hear it resonate beautifully. Vichano. How many times have we talked about lying about the universe? Lying? I may be many things, little frog. A frog, a wizard, a sorcerer, a frog, but not a liar. <laughs> Trust me when I say that your future resonates brightly. Well, it seems like a nice town. We should set up our summer tent here. Grandiosious. I'll connect this tent to the others. See you around. Good luck stopping those flying rugs. Oh, yeah, the flying rugs. Alright. Let's go deal with those rugs, shall we? And I'll take a break at the pond, probably. That place is nice. I like it there. Hi, Salamantor, by the way. Uh, Plaza, yeah. So she says something about pink underground tea. I'll have to look for that in a minute. And then I've also got to go to Otto for honey. Right. 
I've got my uh, tasks in order now. I remember what to do. Great. Carpet shop time. Oh dear. Yep, they are certainly going. Wonderful. You talk to the magicians. A magic powder, I see. Now we just need to spread it on all the carpets. Please help me with that and the jasmine is yours. Okay, sir. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, sugar. Carpet. Carpet. Is that almost all of them? Oh! Ah, I missed it. Oh, there we go. Hey! Beautiful! Now we can continue working in peace. Thank you very much. I think I forgot to ask your name. Uh -huh. Teacup, it was lovely to meet you. Here's your jasmine. Come whenever you want if you need some more. Oh, thank you. Ah, Jasmine. Jasmine? Jasmine and Mephicinale is a climbing plant that grows in temperate climates. This tea is not considered herbal, but rather as aromatic. There are different jasmine teas according to the tea you use as a base. Green tea, white tea, black tea, or oolong tea. To prepare it, the tea leaves are harvested in early summer and stored until the jasmine flowers bloom. When this happens, the tea leaves are flavoured with the jasmine flowers. I do actually have some jasmine tea and it's very nice. Another method is to boil the tea of your choice along with the said flowers. The taste is very sweet and very subtle. It can reduce headaches or muscle aches. Oh, sweet and very subtle. <laughs> it can reduce headaches or muscle aches. I'll have to bear that in mind. I have chron chronic migraines, so... I know it's not paracetamol, but it'll certainly, you know, help soothe the brain. And jasmine tastes nice. Since you're running around town, can I ask you a small favour? If you run into the Raccoon Brothers, can you just tell them their new shipment of wool just came in? They look intimidating, but they're the sweetest guys I know. Last thing I heard, they were in the forest that I forgot to look at. Oh, sugar. Thanks. Oops, sorry. I knocked the mic again. Oh, I guess I know this lad's rugs have settled down then. <laughs> Alright, side quest mania over here. Let's go back to Otto. Grab some honey. And then go to... Oh, look how cute! Oh my god, I'm dying. This is so cute! Yes, um, West Forest. Let's go take a look at uh, Otto's honey situation. Oh my god, a spider. Hello, spider. Love the spiders, they're so cute. Is it Piper Eater or Pipper Eater, by the way? Oh, he's got a beehive. Oh, that's clever. Uh. Hey, Teacup. Nice to see you again. How's the adventure going? Uh -huh. You went to the post office. What a journey. You must have met Vincent. He's a nice fellow, a bit talkative for my taste, but nice all the same. <laughs> Honey? Why, of course. I just gathered some this morning. Here you are. I'm sure your tea party will be a huge success. Thank you, Otto. I love his sweater vest, it's so cute. Oh, I I'll tell you what, that is the one thing I do miss about um, veganism, which I just took up because reasons. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know if I'll continue it. But gosh, honey, honey is so good and golden syrup is not the same. This food is antioxidant, antibacterial, Useful for skin in the care, uh, blah. Useful for skin care in the treatment of acne, and antiseptic, protecting wounds from possible infections. In the absence of sugar, you can accompany all your teas with honey because it also works as a sweetener. It is used to relieve throat discomfort and cough. It is that and golden syrup are very useful if you have a sore throat. Have some honey tea or lemon and honey, um, or lemon and syrup, whatever you have available. Honey is a nectar created by bees. It can have different flavors depending on the flower that the bees consume. You can make for a relaxing tea, and you can spread it on your toast for a tasty, nutritious breakfast. 
That is true. Honey toast is lovely. What you thinking about, Otto? Whoa. STB is an oriental shaman chant band. My favourites. Oh, that would explain it. I was wondering what that poster was. Limited edition STB map. For rainy days. I love the hat. I adore the hat. Right, um... So now that we've done that, we need to go to... Well, I don't need to, but I want to go to the pond. So I think there was an area... Yeah, there was an area to the right that I couldn't access. And now I can! <gasps> oh, look how cute! I'm sorry, tea is not really my thing. I only consume fruit juice. That's how I stay in shape. Your batty shape, sir. Yes, fair enough. Oh. Hi, teacup. How are you? Are you ready for tomorrow? I'm really excited. Oh. Wow, you need some cookies? Not, not a problem. I can give you some leftovers. F oh, sorry. <laughs> Lost track of the words there. I can give you some leftovers from the morning for, for tomorrow, but only if you just join us on our break. <laughs> We're gonna have a picnic on the lake with Bert Berton. I brought some snacks. Oh, there he comes. Let's go. Thanks for your help rowing, T. The water is so calm here, you can sometimes see creatures under the water. Like the mysterious beast of Little Pond. D don't say that, you know I don't like horror stories. Teacup, tell him to stop. T likes horror stories too. Uh -huh. With its sticky body, it attacks poor little porcupines. Ah! <gasps> ah! Aww. Jeez, we're better. Maybe you could draw it too, and we can flesh out the story like we used to do at school. Do you remember our paper puppet shows? Those were epic. T used to make the best voices. Everyone thought we'd hired a professional. I still have an album with our paper cuttings. Oh, whoops, wrong person. Good old times. It's starting to get hot here lately. We used to sail in coats and wool hats. Hmm? If we're here often? Yeah, see, sometimes Evangeline and Adele come too, but they have band practice today. Uh -huh. I feel like I can relax here. Linda also stutters a lot less. You're always welcome too, T, you know. You sh sh should come around more often. Sometimes we read our mangas out loud and act the mangas out loud and act them out. Ooh. I don't know why I keep saying manga. But our voice acting is nowhere near as good as yours. It's awesome that you came out right on the <laughs> It's awesome that you came out right on the town's anniversary. <laughs> Little pond is a nice place. People are a bit crazy, but hey, so are we. Yeah, it's great that you're here. It's a big step. There will always be a spot here for a frog like you. Anyways, Lyndon gave me a plant the other day. He called it Melifluo. I don't know what you expect, Lyndon. I'm too busy to keep a plant alive. I think he's the one who wanted it. After all, he's the one actually caring for it. My Melifluo? Good question, T. Lyndon, what's with that name? Um, I just thought it sounded nice. Well, I'm hungry. Can you pass me the snacks, Bertog? Of course I can. Let me take them out. Abby! Oh, Bertol. You could got the longest arms between us three, Teacup. Do you mind pulling the picnic out of the water? Can do. I've got my mouse. Oh no. Bertol dropped the picnic basket to the lagoon. Move your hand over an object and hold the interaction button to pick it up. Drag all the up objects upwards to pull them away in the boat. Chocolate. Uh, honey, I'm guessing, or fruit juice. Carrot. Oh no. Cashews, lunch, and an apple. Come with me, sir. There we go. Got it. Whee! Thanks, T. Sorry I dropped our snacks. Don't worry about it, Bertol. I think we can dry off most of these things. I think it's time to get back, Mr. Fel uh, I think it's time to get back. Mr. Felicio must be looking for me. Tom must be opening the bakery too. Yeah, you're right. We're going to run on the head teacup, but you know where to find us. <laughs> Come by the bakery later and I'll give you some cookies. Oh. 
Oh, I love the little lizard. He's vibing. I'm looking for sandcastle builders. Do you ever see thee? I'm a f <laughs> I mean, yeah, but not in sandcastle building, unfortunately. Hello, sir. You do not wish to talk to me. Fair enough. Oh, wait, what? Oh! Go up here. Okay. I'll come back here later. I want to check out the villa first, if I can. Ah, there we go. Because I haven't been near the villas yet, and uh, I think that'd be a good idea. There was something else I also needed to do, but I have forgotten it. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 I remember now. Forest. That's right. Where's the... How do I leave? Come. Um. Peace, sir. Ah, there we go. That's being a w bit weird there for a second. Anyways, yes. Let's go take a look in the villa, shall we? Oh, hi. What you doing? Sorry, this road is closed for the time being. But now there is no way through this trunk. We're working as fast as we can to restore access to the other houses. Please come back later. Will do. That's what I was talking about with the whole uh, unlocking areas thing. Oh, wow. That's a house and a half. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at all that artwork. And the very chill cat wearing Doc Martens. <laughs> Deities and symbolic representations of the actions of conscious beings in mythology. Ooh. Surreal. That's, um, Son of Man? Girl with a Pearl Earring, Something by Picasso, Sunflowers, my god. The Mad King. Who may that have been? This one is pretty famous too. What's the other called? I'm guessing they mean artist. I've always liked the atmospheres in these paintings. The vibes are immaculate, yes. The mysterious art of daydreaming. Learn the secrets of the subconscious in your past lives. Another thirsty plant. They seem to be popular in Little Pond. Tools of communication and elemental discourse and hermeneutics of narrated life. These books sure analyze everything in detail. They do, huh? Thoughts on Awakening and the Expectation of the Song of Dawn. The Dawn Chorus? That's a particular way of describing thoughts before sunrise. Ah. Oh. One second, I need to sneeze. Oh, it's gone. Good morning. Oh, you're Otto's neighbour. It's a pleasure. Friend of my teacher is a friend of mine. Uh -huh. Tea, that's wonderful. I prefer Moroccan coffee, but on my trips, some tribes have offered me tea. There's one in particular that I've been looking for, but it's very hard to find. The special quality was that it transported you to a world of dreams. It's uh, sorry, sometimes I start to ramble. Mm. What do you need? Now that I think about it, I've never seen you around here before. It's nice to see you're outside. Mm. Oh, I see! I have some rooibos. It's only enough for one cup, though. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. Ricard gave it to me when I decided to sponsor him. His family lives by the port, and they're always sending him some. You can find him by the pond in the lighthouse. Be nice to him, he's kind of aloof. Fair enough. I, oh, there we go. Analysis of the Seven Journeys. I guess this one talks about how difficult it is to have high, that, have high hopes on Mondays. That's fair. Is she laughing? Is she somber? More importantly, why won't she stop staring at you? <laughs> Aww. My god, that's neat, though. I love all the, like, furrified, um... For lack of a better word, artworks here. It's super cute. Wait. Is this a mole hole? Oh my god, it's a mole hole. Wait. Underground. Pink. This place is super pink. Okay, that makes sense. Hi, Rose. Is that you? <laughs> Oh, sorry, I thought you were my piano student. 
Wait, your teacup, your Taya's granddaughter. What a nice surprise. Oh, I see. You look a lot like her. She also enjoys drinking tea. I like it too, although I only drink hibiscus tea. It's nice and fresh. Oh, you want some for your tea party? Of course I can give you some flowers for you to enjoy. Of course, I can give you some flowers. Oof. <laughs> Strong fruity flavour and a characteristic pink colour. Uh, clever. Hibiscus. Hibiscus tea, also known as Agua de Jamaica, is <laughs> obtained from the sepals of the hibiscus flowering plant. It contains antioxidants, is antibacterial, and is loaded with flavour. It is perfect to drink hot or cold. Strong fruity flavour and characteristic pink colour. Actually, let me check my Super Berries tea shop stuff, because that might have some hibiscus in it. Because that's very pink and very fruity. Uh, yes! Yes, in fact, it's 63% hibiscus, alongside robos and spearmint, and a bunch of berries. Hey. Did wonder. Ah, the piano. Yes, I love to play. Can't see much anymore, but I know just fine where each key is. You can come by any time to hear me play. Sometimes I play with that friend of yours, Adele. It'd be an honour. I'm too tired for that today, sadly. We'll see each other soon. Oh, have a beautiful day. This is nice. What, um... Oh, the Fennec Fox lady whose name I forget I was talking about earlier about, um... You know, you're gonna have a positive change around your life and stuff like that. I definitely feel like this game is about kind of... I don't know about coming out of your shell necessarily, but kind of... Learning to live with and embrace, I suppose, an anxious side of yourself. Ants. It would be rude to step on them, I believe, was the Mother 3 quote about them. Oh, hey! Hey there, Tadpole. Have you come to join our knitting workshop? Oh, oh my god, I love them. Knitted sweaters don't appear out of thin air, you know. And this town severely lacks knitted sweaters. Oh, Pankrashi sent you? A new shipment of wool arrived? That's rad! Thanks for telling us! If you're looking for the town anniversary festival, it's right ahead on this path. Oh, you're looking for tea? The fields ahead have a lot of vegetation, so you should keep your eyes open. Be careful, though. We heard something about some dangerous looking dudes wandering the forest. Oh. Oh, my dears. That's great. Ah! Oh my god, the music! The music! Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm look. Uh, the the reason why I'm walking over here is because I see right here. This plant looks familiar. Wait, it's lemon verbena. You could pluck a few leaves. I have lemon verbena actually. Lemon bee bush. That's a good name. Lemon verbena, Aloysia citradora, also known as lemon bee bush or fragrant verbena, is a plant for ornamental use that can also be made into an infusion. To prepare it, pr place the lemon verbena leaves in water and boil for 15 minutes, or, in case the leaves are dry, prepare one tablespoon for one litre of freshly boiled water, then let it rest. It can be prepared with mint and honey. This herb is calming, it can help with anxiety and insomnia, and can relieve stomach pains. That's right. I'll have to bear that in mind. I actually have issues uh, with digestion, mostly. And I have friends who have issues with digestion. Tell me pain relief from mint uh, lemon tea. I know as well mint is very good for that kind of stuff, so it would make sense that it would be prepared with mint. And honey. Its smell is strong and lemony. The shrub has elongated leaves and its flower is small and can be white or pale purple. It grows near bodies of water in the forest to the east of Little Pond. I'm going to stick my nose in my lemon verbena bag and see if I can smell it. Because I've got this bag of lemon verbena tea bags. You can probably hear me rustling it. It's almost ten, so I'm going to quieten down a bit as well. So, uh, you might want to turn your volume up a bit. Hey, let me sniff. Ooh, it is quite lemony. 
At the moment, though, it's mostly overtaken by the green tea in it, but... Yeah, that- oh. It's a tea shop smell. Oh, oh my god. You know, I actually haven't been in the tea shop nearby. Oh, I say nearby, it's in the marketplace, which is nowhere near the uni I'm currently at, but... You know, um, there's a shop in Norwich called Wilkinson's. It's a tea shop. And that is where I get most of my tea now. Uh, my fruit tea actually came from a farm shop near Longstratton? Yeah, nearish Longstratton. Um, and that one is my favourite tea that I've had so far, but I think I just really like hibiscus tea. <laughs> um, but yes, I've got from Wilkinson specifically, uh, and I have a tea egg as well and an infuser so I can do stuff with that. I've got chamomile, I've got nettle, rose petals, lemon balm. Uh, those are all loose leaf, or petal, <laughs> or in the case of the chamomile, just straight up the entire head of the plant. I've got from another shop in Castle Quarter, uh, called the Tea Junction, also in Norwich. I've got, uh, cherry bakewell and chocolate mint black tea, and mint green tea. Um, from Wilkinson's again, I've got the bagged stuff. I've got jasmine, lapsang souchong, and lemon verbena. Lapsang Suchong, I love. It's so smoky. It's got a, such a... It's, you wouldn't think it's this good. I'm rambling about tea, I apologise, but, you know. I'm sorry, not sorry. Um, and then, yeah, I've got some bog-standard Tesco's uh, mint and lemon and ginger that I got from a relative. And then I've got some pucker stuff. Um, and just some other various brands. But I do like supporting my local tea shops where I can, so got a lot of kind of um herby teas and you know it's actually reminded me i haven't drunk loose leaf tea in ages i've exclusively been drinking like standard bagged tea tea uh so i might crack out the uh lemon verbena tonight or i'll do some chamomile because i love chamomile depends anyways that's enough <laughs> i've finished rambling i promise <laughs> i like tea Oh my god, the music! Oh, it swells so nice. The music, I mean. It's got that kind of like, whoosh, kind of, ah! Oh. I love the rainbow kite, I love the rainbow kite so much, and the dragonfly kite! Oh my god, dragonflies, yes! Hi sir. Hi Maya. Can I talk to you? There we go. Aww. This event wouldn't be possible without me. And the townspeople's hard work. Want some elderflower drink? It's ice from the town. You like it? I can give you the recipe. It's one of my faves. Oh, elderflower drink is so nice. Ever had elderflower wine? It's really nice. Maybe it's because you don't really say anything, but it's easy talking to you. <laughs> oh dear, I've had people say that to me. Have you tried my taco recipe? They are the best. Sauteed diced potatoes with a pinch of garlic. Okay, hang on, I need to write this down somewhere. Coriander, tomato, avocado, fried onion. Mmm, I'm gonna get myself one. Oh, hey! Okay, I'll come back to you in a minute. But I love her dress, it's super cute. It's a nice day to get some sunlight. The sound of the breeze is the best. I love that everyone's wearing their own styles as well. Look, Mum, that kite looks like a big balloon. Yes, dear. Wait, that actually does look like a balloon cart. <laughs> hmm. Hang on a minute, these flowers look familiar. My head is saying daisies, but I'm guessing they're not going to be daisies. Look, this one appears in the book. Yes, it's chamomile, of course it is, yeah! I've got it sitting right next to me, how did I not notice? Oh, to be fair, my chamomile is dried. Um, and spilling everywhere. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm gonna have to take that shot a bit better next time. I love you, Wilkinsons, but your bags cannot withstand your stickers. <laughs> it's ripped at the bottom, so I have to tape it shut. Oh my god. Sorry, I had to sniff it again. Mama has such a lovely scent. Anyways, sorry. Now is the time to info dump because the book is telling me to. Aww, little doggy with a kite! 
Chamomile, chamomile, chamomile nobile is a perennial herb. To prepare the tea, cut the heads of the flowers and let them rest for five minutes in boiled water. You can include honey or mint to enhance its flavour. That is true. I've got um, some mint tea bags. Go really well with chamomile. Uh, la Chamomile has relaxing properties, making it a useful tool against insomnia. It also calms stomach pains. There you go. Um, lemon verbena, chamomile, and mint. Good for stomach troubles. Jasmine is also good for headaches, apparently. I think. I'll have to check that. I do also have some rose petals, um, which I've had. It's a very mild tea flavour. I'm actually surprised you'd think it'd be quite strong because of the uh, colour of the petals, but no. It's a very gentle flavour. Anyways, sorry, yes. <laughs> I'm done info dumping, I promise. Can I talk to you? I cannot talk to you. Maybe I can and then just not get in the prompt. Look, look, I can already count to ten. Ten, two, eight, seven, five, four. He's learning how to count. Sadly, he changes the order each time. Oh dear, kiddo. Ness? Oh no, he's not right, never mind. <laughs> the shirt through. Yeah, no, that's Lucas's colours. What am I doing? <laughs> a frog? No, I'm a toad. There. The wind is not so strong, but my cup is taken off twice. I bet it's gonna come to life and fly away into the distance. Oh, no, I'm just joking. What's with that serious look? Hmm. <laughs> Anywho, hiya. Oh, hang on. I thought it was going to be hot outside today, but Adora was right. It's really nice hit Teacup! Adora, that's her name. We were talking about how nice the weather today turned out to be. Come sit with us. I'm curious. What brings you here on such a busy day? Oh, you're looking for tea? <laughs> Classic teacup. Well, how many herbs have you got already? Wow, you're almost done. Maybe next time we can join you on your quest. Wish you'd come by a little bit earlier. You could have heard us play with the band. If you're up for it, you can come see us on Saturday. Yeah, that'd be great. Have you talked to your grandma? How is she? <laughs> Lyndon keeps asking her about her famous peanut butter cookies recipe, but she keeps it a secret. Are you hungry? Now that you're here, you can get yourself some tacos. There's also a stand with ice brought from the city. Mm -hmm. I can get you some if you're too embarrassed to work. Oh, that's so nice. I'm sorry, I just got shot in the face there with like... They are all so nice. <laughs> this is how it feels to be living with anxiety and have supported family it's, and like friends and stuff. A good support network. Get you friends like this. <laughs> Or you can stay here and enjoy the afternoon. It's a very pleasant afternoon. I'm sorry I have to screenshot it. It's so pretty. You want to keep on going? Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Good luck and see you tomorrow. It was lovely being here though. The music is so pretty. Oh, there's the cart. Aww. <laughs> Anywho, let's quickly zoom off because uh, I think it's also thing on the right here. Yeah, there's a bit of fence. That normally means there's a place that I can go to. Oh, yes. Hi, sir. Oh, you're so sad. Oh. Welcome to my humble cafeteria. Would you like a cup of tea or coffee? Oh. Tea? Wonderful. Here you go. Oh. Uh, from your face, I'm guessing you didn't like it very much. The truth is, I really love these beverages, but I can't get them right despite my best efforts. I feel you there, buddy. <laughs> I'm really, really bad when it comes to herbal teas. I end up boiling the kettle and forgetting to let it, you know, cool down a bit, so I just burn the herbs. It's horrible. Uh -huh. Oh, you say you know a lot about tea and you'll actually teach me? Marvelous. I'll listen carefully to your teachings. Hmm. I see. Oh, that's how you do it. Ah. Uh -huh. I understand. That makes sense. Oh. Amazing! I've been doing it wrong all along, but I'm ready to reinvent myself starting now. 
I don't think I can practice these new techniques and serve customers at the same time, though. Will you help me? I'll make sure it's worth your time. Thank you so much. I'll prepare the orders while you wait the customers. Karim needs your help to get his business moving. Request and retrieve coffee from Karim at the cart. Deliver to incoming customers. Will do. There you go, mate. Oh, funny little bear guy. He's so nice. He's so happy. There you go, mate. Aww. Look at how cute! I like that there's no lose conditions in any of these games, because it's just... meant to be something you wind down to, I like that, you know. I like competitive games with win and lose conditions, but sometimes it's good to just relax with a game where you can just... piss about, you know? Ah, that's weird, but... Oh, a dog! fits with the whole vibe of the game as well, doesn't it? Because, um, a lot of the game is about, uh, you know, getting over anxiety and realising that not every situation is too high stress. So that is, you know, it's nice that there is a game that, you know, kind of shows you that the situation isn't nearly as high stress as you might think it is. There you go, sir. You know, it's, it's not like a um, restaurant rushy type games where you have to constantly serve people or else they get irritated. It's entirely, you know, it's not feed cake to the children. That was incredible, thank you so much! I'd never had so many customers. You're organising a tea party? Say no more, I will aid you. These kinds of meetings are the foundation of life itself, especially when accompanied by the right drinks. To thank you for help- no, oh, to thank you for your help, I'm giving you black tea, green tea and sugar. You never know if one of your friends may have a ferocious sweet tooth. That's true. Also, take this white tea. It doesn't sell much, but I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Tea! Oh, I love tea. Black tea is obtained from the infusion of dried leaves from the Camellia sinensis bush. It is one of the teas with the strongest flavour and colour, mainly due to the fact that its oxidation process lasts longer. For the same reason, its flavour remains more than a year after it is produced. It is high in theine, which is a type of caffeine that has antioxidant properties. This tea can be used as a base to create other drinks, for example with mint or jasmine. It also tastes great when cold. Green tea is obtained from the same bush as black tea, but the difference is that the leaves haven't been oxidised. This is evident in its mild flavour and colour. Like black tea, this beverage is an antioxidant, but it contains lower levels of theine, making it a less stimulated option. It tastes great when sweetened with honey. Also tastes really good with lemon and lime. Come get some more whenever you need it. I completely did not look at the white tea, did I? Um, oh, whoops, sour keys. There we go. Also comes from the Camellia sinensis bush. The youngest leaves of the plant are chosen and hardly processed. First, they are left to wither, and then they are dried in the sun where they are minimally oxidised. It is called white tea because of the small white threads that emerge from the leaf. But, in the, blah, but the infusion is usually yellowish in colour. What a soft and delicate flavour. There are three different types of sugar, so, oh, there are different types of sugar, such as sucrose that comes from sugarcane or beets, and fructose naturally present in fruit. Any one of these is perfect for sweetening your tea. Honey, oh, ginger! <gasps> I love ginger. I have lemon and ginger tea. It's so nice. I have it uh, whenever I'm stressed, because it's, you know, just a good taste. And I have it whenever I'm sick. I would add honey, but I don't have any honey, unfortunately. I can't find a good um, beekeeper nearby. I will, you know, on my quest for teas, I will instead have a quest for a, an ethical honey producer. <laughs> ah, 
There we go. What else was there I needed to do? I know I- oh! Sugar, I went to the market by accident. That's okay. I can get to the plaza from here. I'll talk to you again. Oops. I will not. No, oh, this is so lovely. the mayor is. Have you seen him? Yeah, last I saw him he was at the festival. Oh, this is so lovely. It's really interesting as well. This whole celebration is taking place across the entire town. Normally with the celebrations I've seen in my little uh, corner of the world, it tends to be more sort of just in the one main place people go. Like, um... In this, they'll occasionally hold festivals. And by festivals, I mean they'll put up some little, you know, Stuff like that, they'll have it on, like, the fair green, or maybe in the mirror. But yeah. And, um, the small village I used to come from, uh, the small village I lived in for a while, didn't really hold many festivals, but most of the time they were held in the church. You know, they do Christmas tree stuff. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh. Hey, here you are. I already wrapped up the cookies. These go great with tea. Take them. We're looking forward to tomorrow. Ooh! Thank you for the recipe. Cookies. Cookies are the perfect treat for tea time. To cook some simple vanilla cookies, you need only follow this recipe. One teaspoon vanilla extract, a quarter cup of water. Oh, this is in, um, imperial measurements, fair enough. Uh, two cups of flour. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Well, uh, half a cup of oil, one cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of sea salt. Oh, that's vegan, nice. In a bowl, mix the flour, baking powder, baking soda, and a pinch of salt. So sorry, I've got the hiccups at the moment. Well, those kinds of burps where you just kind of hiccup a little bit. It's weird, anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry to kind of drop that slightly gross bombshell in the middle of this really cute game. <laughs> anyway, alright. Bodily functions, they're fun. In a bowl, mix the flour, baking powder, baking soda, and a pinch of salt. In another container, add the sugar, oil, water, and vanilla extract, and mix until well combined. Mix the contents of both bowls, and once they are well combined, cover the dough with plastic wrap and refrigerate for an hour. Reheat the oven to 190, take the dough out of the refrigerator with the help of a sp oh, and with the help of a spoon, create small mounds. Bake for 10 minutes and wait for them to cool down and enjoy. I think I've already screenshotted that recipe. But my god, that sounds good. I see you found Linden. What were the cookies for? Oh, a tea party. I'm more of a coffee person myself, but tea does go pretty well with cookies. Biscuits, but yes. Order number 22, Quassel. And a Danish pastry, I'm assuming? Sometimes Ta lets me take home some left leftover cakes, so I might bring some of those too. Ta, think of him as mm, the burnt caramel. He might be a bit bitter, but deep down he's still made of sugar. He does seem to be quite nice. <sighs> what else is there to do, I suppose? Um, oh wow, look at how far that's come along. <sighs> We're all here, except one member. Oh no. Uh -huh. Hold on, Froggy. I'm trying to sort out one last, some last minute problems. Hmm. The play will be due soon and she's still not here. Uh -huh. Oh, some members went to see what's going on. Uh, okay. I'll come back later. I thought there was a quest here, but I guess there isn't. Um, oh, yes, I was going to look in the book, wasn't I? You got your regular teas, honey, need ginger, need lemon balm, and rooibos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now Olympia was talking about that. Ooh, and rose hips. I love rose hips. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I remember now. 
Um, uh, Olympia was talking about that, and she... What's his face? The lighthouse! Yes! Okay. I remember now. Hi again there. He's vibing. Is where I found the gold coin the other day. Ah, huh. doesn't seem like there's anything else. Oh wait, how long have you been there? You didn't hear anything from me. No gold coins to be found here, bucko. <laughs> if you find gold coins, donate them to the nearest museum so that they can research upon them, please. Thank you. Also, um, don't take them from burial grounds, that's really shit. <laughs> Oh, um, you're not here to make fun of me, are you? Olympia sent you? Oh. What am I doing? Well, building a lighthouse. My name is Ricardo, and I'm the main architect and engineer here at the lighthouse. A pleasure. I mispronounced that so bad. Also, I love the fact he's an otter. That's adorable. People say it's dumb for a pond to have a lighthouse, but it's my project. Uh -huh. And the only opinions that matter here are the architects and the engineers. Well, also my patrons, Olympia. It's a crazy dream, but it's my dream. I work on it every day. I won't stop just for a couple of uh, ignoramuses, excuse my language, who don't have dreams of their own. Hmm. Uh, sadly, I haven't been able to finish it, because I can't place these gears correctly for the life of me. Ooh. Really? You can help me? If this works, I'll put your name on the commemorative plaque. Tweaks and turns. Ricard requires your help to fix the lighthouse. Drag and place the gears on the right rod. Gears with the same teeth must be in contact, but they cannot overlap. Let's see. The idea is to plug in all these gears in the rods. Gears with the same kind of teeth have to be in contact so they can turn each other. Thus, they can't overlap. Gears with different teeth can overlap slightly, but you can't cover the center of the gear as they wouldn't be able to turn. It's pretty confusing, but I'll be here to show you whenever you're placing a gear incorrectly. Thank you, sir. Let's see. You can kind of see... I don't know if it's meant to be there as a guideline, but you can kind of see the gears here, and I'm wondering... Probably not. Oh? Oh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, that gap's very small, but... Oh, no. Maybe. Just maybe. Yeah! That could work. We'll have to see. Hmm. Oh... I'm sorry, I'm feeling quite... <laughs> there may not be a lot of commentary because I'm just very relaxed. <laughs> I'm very kind of, um... This is what I needed today. Um... This week, to be honest with you. It's been very stressful, so it's nice to kind of just... Get away from it for a little bit, you know what I mean? Let's try these big gears out for size. Oh! Look more like cogs, to be honest with you. Not cogs, um... What's the, the, the wheels? To get the name. <laughs> what am I thinking of? Um, traction engine wheels. They look like traction engine wheels. Sorry. Sorry if I made anyone on stream jump. I just, you know, had a bit of a brain blast there. Okay, so that's how that's meant to go, I'm assuming. Oh. Ah, oh, no, not that one. Oh, sugar. Oh, no, yes, that one. Well. Hmm. Maybe that, and that, and that. Ho ho! Oh, and look, the teeth kind of match up. That's cute. Hmm. On the, um. Oh, never mind. <laughs> How? It's working. Uh huh. Thank you so much. 
Consider yourself invited to the opening ceremony. Ooh. There is still much to do before the lighthouse is up and running, but you took a huge weight off my shoulders. Oh, you need some tea? Yes, of course. I have some. Oh, yes, of course I have some. Ta-da! It's rooibos. Oh, yes. Good stuff. I love rooibos tea. Can also help soothe skin irritations. Noted. It's a red shrub of which the infusion is prepared from the leaves. Its infusion is recognized for having a slight toasted nutty flavor and a strong red tint, but above all being caffeine free. Among its many properties, it is anti-inflammatory and antioxidant and possesses relaxing characteristics. It is ideal to prepare with vanilla or milk. With vanilla? If it's not that expensive, I might actually prepare that with some vanilla someday. I don't have any, but, you know. Robos, Robos, how do you pronounce that? It's cool, though. You can come get some whenever you want, I'll be right here. Please feel free to correct me on my T pronunciation, by the way. I'm not that good at pronouncing things. Oh, lovely. Um... That's all I can think of. I might head back to the plaza and see if they're uh, still waiting on that person, because I kind of want to see the play. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Nearly went the wrong way there. Wow, look at that! Oh my gosh. I urgently need your help. Uh, look, one of our members still isn't here, but the show must go on. We need your help and I can tell you- Uh, blah. We need your help and I can tell you have the skills. Please help us. You will? Thank you very much. Here's the story. The costumes are in the back, show them the script and they'll know what to do. Uh -huh. You're going to be the protagonist. Oh my gosh. Going from it being like a huge step to just be outside to being the lead role in a play? God damn! Listen, ladies and gentlemen, to this humble jester, for I will tell you about the biggest adventure I have heard in my voyages. Frong. There was, not so long ago, a young harlequin from the moon that one fateful, uh, that one fateful evening slipped and stumbled onto Earth. His only dream was to get back and spend his days amongst the bright light of the stars, as before. But the moon now looked so small and out of reach. Down, down, left. Down. Down. Left. I see. To find a way back home, he spent countless hours in the library and researched arduously. But alas, he found nothing that could be of help. He became sadder and sadder as time went by. The librarian, seeing him every afternoon in such low spirits, approached him to inquire about the matter. And upon hearing his goal, to the harlequin's surprise, he said, Oh, melancholic harlequin, there is a way! You must head to where the sun meets the horizon and ask the th 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 You must head to where the sun meets the horizon and ask for the stars for their help. If they hear your plea, they will drop a staircase that leads to the moon. Down, left, left. Down, left, left. With this new information, the little dreamer packed his belongings and set out on his journey. Just as he was parting, however, he encountered the librarian who anxious to adventure beyond his books, handed him a map and asked to be part of the trip. The Harlequin joyfully accepted his company. Down, down, up, right. Down. Down. Up. Left. Sorry, not right. <laughs> Good thing I remember that, right? Even though the librarian was very knowledgeable, they soon realised that neither of them knew how to use a map and got lost. It was then that they spotted a bird swiftly flying across the sky. The bird noticed the lost travellers and stopped to help them. Upon hearing the destination, he smiled and said, I've been to where the staircase falls, offering to guide them. Down, 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 right. 
down, 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 right. <laughs> Crocodile. The trip was long and their voices grew tired and their feet sore. When the spirits were at their lowest, they encountered a crocodile. With her little drum, uh, with her little drum, she created the most beautiful sounds the group had heard. Seeing the lack of music on her their trip, she decided to join them. The stars don't speak much, so I'll lend you my music up until the staircase. With her melodies, she restored the traveler's energy. Down, left, left, right, left. Down, left, left, right, left. Ah. And thus, the travellers continued their journey. They marched onwards to the rhythm of the crocodile's music. Thanks to the librarian, they talked about all kinds of interesting topics. They learned about different places and cultures through the trips of the bird. Their campfires were never boring with all the tricks that the harlequin had up his sleeve. As it often happens when you have a good time, the days went by quickly, and suddenly they found themselves where the sun meets the horizon. Right, up, right, left, left. Right, up, right, left, left. <laughs> Harlequin called out to the stars for help, and just as the librarian said, a long, bright staircase stretched down from the sky. The librarian hugged the Harlequin and said, You are almost where you want to be, dear friend. It is time to say goodbye. Faced with these words, the little Harlequin took one last look of his friends, but was overcome with a bitter sadness. As tears began to spill from his eyes, he had realised he had not felt such misery since before he had started his journey. Upon realising this, he let go of the ladder and exclaimed, Now that I am here and you are here with me, I cannot imagine a life without your company. Oh gosh. Right, right, down, up, right, up. Right. Right. Down. Up. Right. Up. <laughs> That night they didn't light up a fire, and instead decided to. That night they didn't light up a fire, and instead decided to share a picnic under the moonlight. I'm sorry, I'm stammering a bit. As they had already found the brightest treasure on their way to the staircase. Down, up, right, up, up, right. Down, up, right, up, up, right. <sighs> oh, such a cute play. Your performance was amazing. The spectators burst into tears. I'm impressed. You may want to come with us and perform in other towns. <laughs> oh, I see. You haven't heard the calling of the theatre. Well, fair enough. One great adventure is better than nothing. Best of luck with what remains of your journey. Oh, thank you. Oh. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, logs? The people cutting the logs. Let's see, let's see if they've gone yet. But that was sweet. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna go talk to Bertol first. Hey, dude. There's so many people from other towns. Crazy, isn't it? I know, right? I haven't talked to this guy yet. I want to talk to other people. Looks like the theatre company will be performing soon. My family always say I should have been an actor. Why is that? That's beyond my comprehension. Should I go fly a kite? I'm not sure if I'm ready for such an adrenaline rush. That's okay. This thing wasn't action packed after all. I'm gonna go cut up some more wood. Oh, yeah, that guy was gonna go. Yeah, I remember. Um, in my previous playthrough, I think he was talking about. Um, 
how he wanted to go and see the theatre play in a bit, or something like that. Yeah, because I went and checked East Forest or wherever it is. Yeah, it was East Forest. A while ago? Oh, it was near the villas! Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh yeah, they're gone! Right, I think that's all the teas um, that I can get now. So I don't think there are any other plot threads, so let's go up here. You see a river with a free gondola in the distance. You could ride this to Grandma's house, but it's pretty far away. You probably have to spend the night over there and come back tomorrow. Ride to Grandma's house? Yeah, go on then. I think that's everything. Oh my god, it's the theme music. Oh, look how cute! got a little hat! She's got a boater on! Oh my god. I love this. I love this so much. That person in the window with their tea, or whatever they're doing, I'm not entirely sure, but it's so cute. Oh, a little monkey playing in the tree. <laughs> Oh my god, I just realized Teacup's got a little bandana, that's so cute. Oh, I love that molehill house as well, look at that. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, look, oh my god, Grandma's house is so cute. Oh, it's like an old manor house. We see those all the time in the countryside. Not so much covered, not nearly as covered with ivy, mind you, but... Oh my gosh, the big windows, the big bay- Yes, I love the big windows. Ah, yes, yes, this is what I have as my background on my PC. Grandma's favourite tea set. Rain gave it to her a long time ago. Aww. Nothing better than taking a nap after afternoon tea. Oh, too right. I really need to do tea, uh, afternoon tea. Photo albums, teacup pages 8 to 14. Oh no, baby pictures, how embarrassing. I feel that teacup. Oh look, look, look at this, it's so cute. Got dried herbs. I'm meaning to get some dried herbs. Just generally to have, you know. There was a very specific herb that I was looking for that you're meant to hang over your doorway as a sign of good luck. And because I can't do horseshoes, I figured I'd do that. I still haven't found it, unfortunately. But I would do that. I would hang dried herbs and... Oh my god, this place is so cute and so green. I love it. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Oh, it is from the holidays with your grandmother when you were little. Oh. A tea-themed watering ca- oh my god, that's so cute. Succulents. Yeah, I love succulents. Hi, Taya. I love your slippers. I can't believe my eyes. Teacup. Is something the matter? You're all right, darling. You came on your own accord. Wow. Sometimes I forget you're all grown up now. Only yesterday were you with the littlest tadpole, learning how to swim outside the pond, and now you're on land. Oh. I'm so proud. I know, I know. I'm just so happy to see you. Take a seat, please. Let me fix you a cup of tea. How have you been? Are you ready for your tea party? Of course I know about it. I asked Ren to look out for you in town. Lid did also come to deliver fresh bread every morning. He always stays for a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, I know what this is about. You ran out of tea. I was wondering how long the last set of Oh, I was wondering how the last set I gave you had lasted you so long. You were in town looking for tea all day? You must be exhausted, little one. You found quite a lot of herbs, I see. So, what brings you all the way here? Darling, you know you can always ask me for anything you want. I'm afraid you might have heard that. My headphones are running out of battery. What an opportune timing. 
Even though you may be big now, I'm still your grandma. Aww. I've got those herbs you're missing in some jars in the kitchen, but you'll have to tell me all about your day first. You've caught me off guard. I don't have much for us besides tea now, but I have some flour left. You can make those peanut butter cookies you like so much while you tell me what you saw in Little Pond. I'll go on ahead to the kitchen. Oh, this is so nice. I love the plants. Plant, plant, plant. The Tea Master's Guide, Complete Encyclopedia, Tome 45. Oh my word. This whole house is just... I'm sorry I'm doing it again, but I love this. It's so... It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Hi, Grandma. Honey, could you fetch me some rose hips from the living room, please? Good thing. Zoom, zoom. Oops, not photo albums. The rose hips. Oh, it's rose hip. Grandma won't mind if you take a generous helping. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I didn't like rose hips the first time I had them. Oh dear, my battery's empty. Oh no! My phone's about to die. One second. And we're okay. Whew, that was a close call. Oh dear. <laughs> Rose hip are fruits produced by wild rose bushes. They have a rare, uh, they have a large amount of vitamin C and are used to prepare jams and jellies. To prepare this herbal tea, put four to five rope hip rose hips in a cup of boiled water, let it steep for ten to fifteen minutes, and then remove the fruits. Its flavor is acidic, making it perfect to accompany with something sweet. Hibiscus tea or honey make good complements for this herbal tea. I'll have to try a rose hip tea again. Well, you couldn't reach the jars. Lemon balm, ginger, and the rose hip you picked up. There you go! You know where to come when you need more. It will only cost you a conversation. It's late already. You should spend the night in your room here and get back home tomorrow. Tell me about that last manga you were reading while I get the ingredients for the cookies. Giant frogs? That's scary. Was Teacup reading Attack on Titan? The next day, Teacup returned to her house and got everything ready for the tea party. Today's the day! Oh boy! Let's go, let's go! Oh, Cups, cookies and tea. Everything is ready. Only your friends are missing. Might as well read a bit while they arrive. Oh, there they come! Ooh, let's go. Ooh, that's... <laughs> I think it's meant to be flashing. This is it. Your friends came to the tea party and it's time to make tea. Each tea request will be displayed in the top right corner. Select each ingredient and place them inside the cup. When ready, select the teapot to pour water and deliver the tea. There's so much to choose from. What do you recommend, teacup? Jasmine. Oh, jasmine green tea. Sure. I want that, but no sugar, please. You went to the wizard's tent? Do they really have a giant butterfly? <laughs> no. So, I need green tea and jasmine. That is chamomile. Green tea, there we go. And jasmine. Where's jasmine? Ah, right at the back. Boop. like I'm making potions, I love it. I mean, yeah, tea making is kind of... They have a what? Oh, poor Linden. Are they real wizards? Uh, amazing! Weren't you scared? Mm. I saw them talking to my uncle the other day. They look chill. Or at least the short one. The other one was a bit scary. Mm. The other day, the tall one... Ah, Yakovu, thank you, Teacup. I couldn't remember his name. Yakovu asked if we had a library in town. He said he could lend us his books to start one. Oh. oh. Miss Olympia has lots of books too. Whenever she's home, she's always reading something. Y you met her? What t t teas did she give you? Oh, she told you to ask Ricard? Oh, you repaired his lighthouse? 
But how come I go to work every day and that, that kind of thing never happens to me? Can I try a cup of rooibos? Cool. Yes, two sugars, please. Sure thing, bud. Rooibos, rooibos, that one. And one, two sugar. I don't normally drink my tea with much sugar. I tend to like stevia. Yesterday was amazing. I always knew you had an actress in your teacup, but seeing you on stage was awesome. <laughs> you didn't see her in the pond. She was great too. She saved our picnic. Mm -hmm. We should go to the pond next weekend and enjoy a day at the beach. Uh -huh. Mayor said the beach will probably be empty because it's going to be cloudy. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Wait, how does he know that? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. He's a mysterious mayor. Did you hear about the kite contest winner? It was Johnny Chuckles. Mm -hmm. Oh, teacup! I see you picking herbs at the festival. Chamomile. Will you make me some of that? Does that go well with milk? Well, uh, well with mint. And give me some of that too, and with honey, please. Thank you, teacup. I am sorry I butchered that, but yes. One chamomile. One mint. There it is. And one honey. I've got the dry chamomile at home. Uh, at home, right here. The sniff. Ooh. What a gorgeous smell. Oh no, this is wrong. It is? Oh, two honeys. Oh dear. One mint, one chamomile, two honeys. There we go. Miss Olympia was fascinated. She said she hadn't seen such a fearless kid in a while. I mean, seeing him fly away gave me quite a fright. Ooh. Teacup, I saw you speaking to Mrs. Adora yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mrs? Uh -huh. She said something about being married to Destiny. Did she give you any hints on where to find the herbs? Oh, that's too bad. Good thing Miss, <laughs> Miss Mole had a hibiscus. Can I try it? Great, with honey, please. Clever, clever. Uh, so we want hibiscus and one, two honeys. Oh, I love that colour. Hibiscus tea always has a lovely colour. Oh, I finished my tea already. Teacup, is there any tea that's as minty as Adele's but more lemony? Aha! Can I try lemon balm? Is there any ginger? Great. Can you add a little of that and a, a little of that and a pinch of sugar, please? <laughs> Nobody makes tea like you. What's a pinch, sir? Ah, just one teaspoon. Fair enough. Lemon balm, ginger, and some sugar. Not honey. That's a cool book. Is that where you found the different herbs? Oh, what is this rose hip? Can I try some? Five sugars, please. You're like a tea wizard. Ah, I just remembered the final dialogue in the play. Aw. One, two, three, four, five. You are a sugar fiend, my dear. I don't think I've ever had that much sugar in my tea before, but hey. It's nice and sweet, I'd imagine. I even shed some tears. The theatre always comes with beautiful plays. I heard Vincent was pretty excited. He wants us to join the company. But last year he wanted to join the caravan that was selling salt. Classic Vincent. Come on, Teacup. We know you like to prepare tea, but come sit with us. Oh, what are you preparing for yourself? <laughs> Mint tea with two sugars. Oh yes, classic. Mint. One, two. Oh, I love mint tea. 
tree. Now come sit with us so we can take a picture. Oh my gosh. Oh, ho, 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 that's so cute. And thus finished Teacup's adventure for tea. Oh my gosh. But who knows? Maybe other adventures await Teacup and Little Pond. Or perhaps... Just a lazy afternoon spent reading. Maybe. Oh, and it's a little... Oh, with the cup of her favourite tea. Oh, that was a nice one to end the night on. Oh, I'll let the credits play out. Um, but that's the end of the stream. Thank you everyone for coming who came. Um, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who followed last stream as well. I really appreciate it. But yes, thank you. Uh, it was nice and chilled. There we go. That was Teacup. Oh dear, I had a bit of a skipped frames thing there. My mistake. Yes, there we go. <laughs> that was the game. It's very nice. Very relaxing. Just what I needed. Um, anyway. Yeah, that's the end of that. <laughs> Everyone have a good evening. Um, and I'll see you when I see you, basically. <laughs>